Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to week eight of the cycle. This is gonna be testing week, so we're gonna be testing a lot of things this week. I highly recommend taking a look at the programming ahead of time and deciding which days you wanna come based on what tests you wanna do, okay? Monday, we're gonna be testing our one rep max back squat. You're gonna have 20 minutes to do this, and I'm sure your coach is gonna give you a rep scheme to follow or a suggested one to build up to that one rep max. But remember when we do this, less is more, okay? You don't wanna do a bunch of reps at like a super high percentage because then you're gonna be too tired to go for that real one rep max. So I would recommend doing maybe like a set of 10 with an empty barbell, maybe a set of five with some weight, set of three, and then maybe a set of two or just getting into your singles from there. Um, making sure that we rest at least two minutes between those heavy attempts so that you give your body some time to recover your nervous system so you can really go for that max attempt. Now, if you are somebody who likes to wear a weight belt, I would really recommend not putting it on until you're at like that 85% mark, okay? But whenever we're doing the uh, back squat, we're gonna walk up to the bar about thumb distance from the knurling, grab the bar, you're gonna duck underneath it, put it on the meaty part of your traps, stand up, take a step back, set those feet for the squat. We're always gonna take a deep breath to brace the core. Send the hips back, knees out, getting all the way down below parallel, standing up all the way. Once you know you've made the lift, you can let that breath out. So down. I know I've made the lift, and then I'm gonna walk it back in. Okay, good luck with this. We wanna see some good numbers. Okay, time for our conditioning test. We're gonna start out today with a 2K row for time. Okay, so you're gonna row hard for 2,000 meters. Once you finish, you're gonna look at the clock. You have two minutes to rest before we go into the next part of the workout, which is gonna be 30, 20, 10 wall balls and dumbbell box step overs. Now this whole workout has a 16 minute cap, including that row. So make sure you pace yourself accordingly so you can finish all of the work. Now for the wall balls, we're always gonna start about arm's length from the wall. I would recommend holding the ball right in front of your face. If you bring it down to your chest or your belly, a lot of times it's hard to get all the way below parallel in that squat. And we really wanna make sure we get low. So we're gonna have our arms, elbows tucked in under the ball. We're gonna get that nice full squat and then we're aiming for the target. Now guys, you're always going to the top line. Ladies, it's up to you, all right? I did hear in the open this year that everybody's going to that 10 foot target. So maybe start practicing that. We've got 30 reps. Then you're gonna head over to your box. You're holding on to your dumbbells. We've got 30 box step over. So up and over up and over. You don't have to stand up all the way at the top. I like to do a little turn step so I'm not going like face first off the box. I don't think it's the best for your knees. So either step down sideways or turn around and step down backwards on that. You've got 30 wall balls, 30 step overs, 20, 20, 10, 10, then you're done. Can you finish under 16 minutes? 